The Truth of Girls. Hi everyone, Truth of Girls Sonia here. I got a funny story for you guys. The story of why people are thinking that Baron Trump might be a time traveler. Internet uncovers a 19th century book featuring a Baron Trump, a Don, and a trip to Russia. So there's this book, actually a series of books from the late 19th century. Okay, two books by uh, someone called Ingersoll Lockwood. One from 1893 called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. And one from 1896 called The Last President. But the connections between the books, one an illustrated children's book and one a novel, and the current Trump administration are uncanny, says this article. For starters, the main character in the first book shares the name with Trump's 11-year-old son, Baron, despite the differences in spelling. Baron, an extremely wealthy young man, lives in Castle Trump and sets off on an adventure to Russia to track down an alternate dimension as a, quote, master of all masters named Don guides him along the way. Unbelievable! Throughout the book, Baron is depicted wearing lavish clothing. The character received a sequel called The Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonderful Dog, Bulgar. I mean, it's just too much! Little Baron Trump, the little rich boy, sets off on an adventure to Russia. Maybe the Russians were involved. The master of all masters, Don, guides him along the way. How do you explain this? This is, it's really weird. I mean, people were talking about this in forums, they're talking about it on Reddit. Baron Trump, a time traveler. I mean, something is, something's not normal here. The laws of physics and time and stuff seem to have been warped a little bit. What sorcery is this? And you know what? There's, there's more to the like conspiracy theory that came out of this. It has to do with that maybe Trump has a time machine. I'll just read it to you. After Nikola Tesla's death, the FBI ordered the alien property custodian to seize Tesla's belongings, even though Tesla was an American citizen. The National Defense Research Committee called in an MIT professor to make sense of Tesla's notes in order to analyze if anything in them could be weaponized. That MIT professor was John Trump. J John Trump claimed there was nothing of any real substance in Tesla's notes, but this of course was a lie. He knew that if the National Defense Research Council realized what the notes contained, it could mean the end of the world, because included in them were blueprints for a theoretical time machine. Okay, it's getting weirder. And John Trump was an American electrical engineer, inventor, and physicist. He was the paternal uncle of US President Donald Trump. So it's like his uncle got hold of this time machine. And I don't know, I mean, what? You know, I can't quite figure out what it, what's the connection, but it seems like there is one somewhere, I mean, clearly. I'm starting to think like Mandela effect. Like, did this book exist before? Did it get a time machine and like went back in time and like created this book like just to mess with everybody? Or did they create the book knowing that one day this stuff would happen in the future? I mean, I don't know, but it was like something really weird is going on. You know, there, there are some things there that like, okay, in the book, the child is not really called Baron Trump. He is, his real name is Wilhelm Heinrich von Trump. And he is called Little Baron Trump because of his title. So he's an actual Baron. And Don is not actually the name Don. It's a Spanish honorific that means Mr. The character's real name is Constantino Bartolomeo Strefalo Fijiguanerius. So you can see why they just call him Don, right? But still, I mean, that's pretty close. Uh, there were some conspiracy theories with Obama too. FreemanTV.com. This is where the Obama is a clone of King Akhenaten thing originated. Not only Obama, but his wife Michelle and his daughters. It, that well, Obama resembles Akhenaten, so it was thought that perhaps he was actually a clone made from genetic material recovered from the mummy. And well, Michelle, the wife, and the daughters, like they're all clones. 
maybe that's why you never see pictures of Michelle pregnant because the daughters were made in a lab or it could be that this just wasn't true and uh, neither is Donald Trump Baron Trump story and there's one more thing while we're on the subject you may notice that sometimes you find these old pictures from the 1800s that look exactly like modern-day celebrities uh, Nicholas Cage has a 19th century doppelganger looks just like him and also John Travolta has one like if you compare the two look it looks like the same guy I can't explain it I mean how, how could I possibly explain this <laughs> it's too weird you know but uh, there is one possibility which is that you just happen to look like each other uh, there is a site online called twinstrangers.net and apparently everyone has a doppelganger or something close to it somewhere out there in the world and for the reasonable price of something like 1999 you can pay them to use their artificial intelligence machine to do a search of all the other people uh, signed up for this to see if anyone else is your twin and sometimes people find people who look very much like them or even look so much like them that they look like identical twins so there is such a thing apparently we can sometimes look just like someone else and apparently you have something like six doppelgangers in the world right now at least so um, I just thought I'd throw that into the discussion anyway this is all totally unexplainable I mean either it's just a really really huge coincidence Baron Trump's, what was it, his mystical voyage into the underground, it really sounds like little Baron Trump got into a patch of mushrooms. It's too bad they didn't make more sequels. They could have had Baron Trump launches into outer space. Baron Trump experiences ego death. So anyway, I'm not sure what this all means, but I thought you might be interested. Uh, so let me know what you think. And thanks for giving me a thumbs up and for sharing this video. And thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.